Let's take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison of the first and second place finishers at this year's AKC Nationals in the challenge round. On the right, you have Desiree Snellman and Pace, and on the left, you have Daisy Peel and Solar. Here we can see a difference in handling choice. On the left, Daisy Peel opted for a catchker move. So if we go back here, she turns towards her dog, and then as her dog commits to the obstacle, she turns around and executes a blind cross. On the right-hand side, Desiree simply gave a strong decel cue and sent her dog over the jump and then turned and pulled to the next obstacle. You can see that both dogs are over the jump at almost the exact same time. Now here's where ground speed can make a difference. If we come over here to Daisy and count the strides, we see that Solar is going to land. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and launch. And if we come over here to pace, we can see that from the same point, he's going to land one, two, three, four, five, launch. And if you look, they're actually launching, they're both launching here at almost the exact same point in time, but you can see that Pace is further back from the jump than Solar is. Um, you can also see that at this takeoff point here, Daisy Peel is doing a blind cross and Desiree is doing a front cross. And at the exact moment that they're taking off, if we zoom in here, we can see that Daisy Peel is already looking over her shoulder, queuing uh, Solar for that turn, and Desiree has already turned towards her dog for the front cross. So both of them have timed that well. But if we look at what happens after, we'll see that Solar is going to drift a little bit wide there, land wider than Pace is. It's a little bit hard to see because the A-frame is in front, but we can see here that Pace is getting ready to take off from the jump right here. Whereas if we go forward in time just a little bit more, we'll see Solar come out on the other side of the A-frame there. So definitely drifted wide on that blind cross there. So he has to kind of jump um, heading that way a little bit. He does actually wrap the wing very nicely though and get into position for the dog walk. Now here's where we can see the true speed of that running dog walk because if we go forward a little bit here, when Pace gets his front two feet on the dog walk here, Solar is still a stride back over here. Now watch what happens. When we go forward with that running dog walk, Solar has now passed up pace on the dog walk even though they started a stride behind. But the, because of the course design, the dogs have to come off that dog walk Let's just look at one. They have to come off that dog walk and make a really sharp turn to this jump. And that's going to negate the some of the effect of the running dog walk. But we, you can already see that the running dog walk is what let her make up some time and get to, to the end of the dog walk faster. But now she's really got to manage that end point. So even Pace, you can see, as Desiree is trying to move into her front cross position over here, you can see that Pace is 
still moving in this direction a little bit. And so both dogs get a little bit of a wide turn off of that dog walk. So now Daisy has caught up to pace with that dog walk, even having to manage the turn at the end. They're both going to execute a front cross there. And both of them get nice tight turns here to the weaves. In fact, you can see both dogs almost fall down trying to make that hard turn there. Um, Solar maybe even has a little bit of a tighter turn here. She opted for another front and then a rear at the weaves. But Pace has got incredible ground speed. He's going to catch up. So we'll play him through here. So you can see they're exiting now at almost the exact same point. Now again, Pace's ground speed is going to put him on the A-frame just a hair before Solar gets onto the A-frame. Both handlers do a blind cross over the A-frame. Again, you can see that Pace is just a hair in front of Solar. They're both doing the blind cross. Unfortunately, we can't really see what happens at the end of the A-frame. So we don't know if maybe Pace came off a little bit high, like in the yellow, but a little bit high, and, and that's what let them get, you know, about a step ahead here, um, or what happened there. But you can see that now Pace is going to take off for this jump just slightly ahead of Solar. They're both going to wrap that wing very nicely. If you look at the landing, though, it looks like Pace maybe has a better turn there over that bar. And he's already launching now for the next jump. He's got a nice, long launch. And now you've got ground speed. So he's going to fly over that triple and get into the tunnel. As his nose goes in, you can see here that Solar is about a, a, a step behind over here. Both handlers are going to do the blind cross coming out of the tunnel. At this point, both dogs look great. It's just that Pace is now a little bit ahead. He also has a lot of si size to really make that teeter go down super fast. Both are going to wrap that wing nicely. Now Desiree is going to go for a blind cross between the jump and the chute. Daisy is going to go for a front cross between the two jumps, kind of on the outside of that arc. But at this point, Pace is a little bit ahead, and he's going to maintain that lead. Both of their arcs here look good, but I think if we count strides, we're going to see Pace is, there's one, two, three, four, launch. And if we look over at Daisy's side, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, launch. So one more stride in there. And Desiree is going to win by about half a second. So very interesting course design. Uh, some different handling choices by both handlers, both of them getting really nice turns, but ground speed seemed to make up the difference for pace. Uh, Solar's dog walk did give them the opportunity to catch up there, even though she had to manage the turn at the end. So that running dog walk, it really does provide greater speed across the entire dog walk. Great runs by both handlers.